what people can expect. Right. The morning commute I really was never too worried right. about. This was kind of the lighter mm -hmm. part of the event, the prime to the mm -hmm. event. And honestly, it's really indicative of temperatures. Temperatures are going to play a huge role into how much snow you get and what the impacts are. And this is why our snowfall totals from the beginning have been kind of on the lower end. We knew that we were going to have temperatures at or above freezing, especially near the lakefront. So the timing of the snow at this point, we have already had that kind of first round. The second one's starting to kind of fill in a bit, but it's it's very light to moderate snow happening with a lot of moisture and water content in that snowflake. So when it does fall and it hits the ground, a lot of it melts and it creates this like slushy, sloppy stuff. Don't let that fool you. It still is slippery. So all day today through overnight, we have snow. We could get a brief break, I think, between 7 and 9 o'clock. That's already starting to fill in. The main impacts here is going to especially be happening with round two. That one is going to be happening this afternoon. That's going to be heavy snow, strong winds with more of that mixing going on near the lakefront. Our overall totals have stayed the same. Five to seven for most with three to five inches Milwaukee south of 94 near the lakefront. Kind of that slushy mix, if you will. So right now you can see there's a lot of mixing going on near the lake. We have an easterly wind. We're even getting a pop of mix going on in Janesville. So it is a very wet, sloppy, heavy type of snow. A lot of compaction going on. In fact, the temperature just went up in Milwaukee to 37, 32 right now in areas in Waukesha, 32 in Johnson Creek. So if you are at or below freezing, that's that's where you're going to see more of that accumulation this morning. It won't be a lot at this point, but again, the worst has yet to come. This is why there's a winter weather advisory advisory rather out for this morning. It will pick up and we get upgraded to a winter storm warning that will be lasting the rest of the day today. Elkhart Lake showcasing that snow on the ground there. There's no one traveling there, so you can see it. And then a different story in Economowoc. You can see the roads are clearly wet and slushy with some snow on the sidewalks. And then Pewaukee, where there hasn't been much travel. You can actually see through this snow, but it is still actively snowing and look at that wind blowing that heavy wet snow around. So you still got to use caution this morning. Temperature in Milwaukee, like I said, 37. Easterly wind kicking in at 22 miles an hour. Could see those gusts up to 30. The low is going to arrive. We have that mix going on. Then the low comes in, brings in more moisture. It starts to pick up the snow showers and that typically can be enough to overcome the warmer air that we have. So that will help to cool the atmosphere down enough for us to see accumulation. So this is that break I was talking about. It's slowly filling in and this is what we all have yet to get through. So let me show you future casts. I think it picks up on this beautifully, fills everything in by that 10 o'clock hour, really amping up here going into that afternoon and evening, especially in the evening when the sun starts to go down, then the temperatures cool off enough for this to be accumulated accumulating snow during that evening rush. And that's where I think you're going to have the most problems. As we go through the overnight hours, it all clears out and we are good to go. Again, the snowfall map we've had hasn't really changed here. Slushy three to five here, a blanket five to seven. You could, if you want, get a little slush layer up now, but by tonight, I would definitely get a layer up because this is a heavy, wet type of snow. Then get the rest of it up as you wake up tomorrow morning. That would be the best thing to do. After this, though, we get cold. I mean, the brutal cold makes a comeback as we go into next week. I'm talking temperatures that could easily be below freezing in many spots, and we're not even done with the snow. In fact, we have a clipper on the way on Thursday, and another potentially larger system than today's system is coming through on Friday. So it is a very active stretch for us. Check out that seven day. So we have today as an alert day. Tomorrow, impact day for leftover slick spots. Tomorrow's our break day. Clipper on Thursday, bigger system Friday that lingers into Saturday. Then winter comes back and it'll be cold, guys, with highs just in the teens.